G'day, today I'm going to show you a little problem that we've been coming up with causing many issues with Windows 8 and Windows 10 particularly, but causing uh, all printers, not just HP printers, to perform erratically and uh, cause a lot of problems. So what you want to do is find out what port your printer is actually printing on. So we've found that Windows 7, uh, sorry, Windows 8 and Windows 10 have been adding in a WSD virtual port which actually causes the issue. So to f check this out, you want to go start devices and printers. Uh, Windows 10 might be slightly different. Once you get into that, uh, right click on your print driver and do printer properties. From here, you want to uh, navigate to the ports tab sitting there. You might want to make this little uh, column a little bit wider so you can read what's going on in there. But as you can see, these ports here are all direct IP address ports. Um, the current printer is printing on a direct IP address so it's fine but the ones we're finding issues with are these WSD ports so as you can see it's a WSD and a whole pile of numbers afterwards um, Windows has actually created this port it'll work for a little while but trust me it will um, play up without before too long at all and you'll be having non-stop dramas and uh, just weird things happen like um, sending jobs and not arriving printing to wrong trays throwing up errors that you've never seen before and generally just not doing as they're told so to overcome this what you want to do is add a port you need to print direct to the IP address of the printer so to do that you need to know what the IP address of your printer is once you know what the IP address of the printer is then you can go through and add the port in so this one here might be a uh, new port next 192.168.1.65 is the port number for mine and finish close and as you can see now instead of printing to the WSD port mine's printing directly to the IP address this will fix a lot of your problems um, if you're not sure on how to get this across to an IP port you might want to contact your IT provider or check out one of our later blogs where I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step thank you